Good morning, Chicago. It's 9.07. Bruce Rauner started his campaign here months ago on this air. He won uh, the primary in large part because I think many of you listen to him. Um, Lauren Cohn, John Cass. Good morning. With us in studio is the Republican nominee for governor, Bruce Rauner. Congratulations. Good morning, John. Good morning, Elsie. Yes, yeah, great to be with you. Thank you very here. much. No, it's great to be here. I so, said when you walked in, you looked better than I do. Who, who's the makeup artist, right? After none of us got any sleep last night? Yeah, we didn't get much sleep last night. It was a fun celebration. And then we were right at it this morning. I started doing uh, TV interviews this morning uh, live at 6 a.m. We were hit to all the, all the networks here this morning. And we're going to be out uh, working all day today. You know, the campaign has already started. This is the general election is underway. We're going to be working hard every day between now and November 5th. It actually started, usually there's a grace period <laughs> where, the, where the opposing candidate doesn't shoot attack ads even before the polls are closed. Right. But last night, even before Dillard, uh, Kirk Dillard conceded, and we'll get into all that, um, Bruce uh, Quinn ran an attack ad on the minimum wage. And uh, let's hear what the governor had to say about Rauner in his victory speech, even though he really didn't have a primary. So the class war begins, I guess, why don't you just give all your money away, wear like burlap sacks, and beg Quinn for forgiveness. Is that, would that work out? You know, Pat Quinn loves to divide people. He loves class warfare. Yeah. And you know what? That's part of the reason he's such a failure. He's failing the people of Illinois. He doesn't understand that you can't be pro-jobs and be anti-business. He doesn't understand that. You can't be uh, hostile to hard-working people who've done well and, and, and been successful and given back like I have. That doesn't create jobs. That doesn't fix our schools. He is the worst governor in America. And you know what? He's running scared, so his special interest groups are trying to attack us right from the get-go, right even before the primary is finished, because they're scared. They know we can beat him. They know he's vulnerable because he has no track record that he could talk about that's positive. Well, what he's failed in every regard. For, let, let's talk about the track record of the state. Where's the state on jobs? You know, we're horrible. You know what, under Pat Quinn, he's been governor for five years and he's going to ask the voters for another five years. Good grief, we cannot afford that. Under his five years, Illinois has had unemployment increase more than any other state in America. And we are now tied for number two in the nation for highest unemployment rate. He's driven our taxes through the roof. Our income tax is up more than 60%. Our real estate taxes for our homeowners up hugely every year, even while our home values went down. He's defunded our schools, trapped thousands of kids in failing school systems, failed us on education and vocational training, and he's shredded the social services safety net that our neediest uh, folks deserve to be um, uh, serviced by. He is a failure, and he's going to run away from that. He's going to attack me. You know what he's going to say about me? I'm a successful guy. You know what? You're darn right I am. I'm proud of it. Bruce, anything that you, you've learned over this campaign that is going to change the way you go in terms of things forward? Your playbook has sort of been, you know, job creation, pro-business agenda, we don't want to see more taxes. Any Anything more? Well, you know what, what? Here's the issue. Pat Quinn will say things like, well, I'm for the 99%. No, he's not. Look at how working families in our state are suffering. He has failed the 100%, let alone the 99%. He is uh, going to say, oh, I'm a business guy and I'm rich. You know what? I've made a ton of money and I've given a lot of that back to build charter schools and fund vouchers and merit pay for teachers. And uh, we built the Red Cross. We built the YMCA. My wife and I give back and I'm very proud of that. Well, most of what you've talked about comes is the business platform. What about some social issues to maybe some, gain some of those from, from the Democratic side to the more moderate Republicans? You know what? It, the, this race is, is about economic issues and education issues. That's what matters. Pocketbook issues. That's what unites us. You know, this race is about the truck driver in Rockford who doesn't have enough work. It's about the factory worker in Decatur who lost his job and is looking for another one and can't find it. It's about the hardworking teacher in Chicago who's doing a terrific job inspiring kids to learn and deserves our support and reward. 
and it's about the single mother who's struggling in Pilsen who deserves a shot at a better life for her kids and her herself. You know what? Pat Quinn is failing every one of those folks. He's failing the working families. He says he's for working families. He's failed. I will deliver results that help working families in Illinois. Um, we have uh, some audio that I want you to hear from Dillard last night. Kirk Dillard uh, got frozen out. He, he might have been governor now, but he was frozen out from money this time. And he went to the unions that basically you say, uh, the union bosses that you allege are the problem. I tend to agree with you. Let's hear what he had to say. Before he endorses you, has he has he called you? Uh, he did. He called and uh, wished me w uh, well and said we look forward to working together. You know what? We're going to bring everyone together to beat Pat Quinn. And uh, Kirk ran a good, strong campaign. I I, my, I commend him for that. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a well fought battle. We knew it would be. I knew from day one it was going to be a tough battle. We we didn't have name recognition a year ago, and uh, we we were going to uh, have a battle, and we knew we were going to win it, and we got it done. All right, we'll come back at 918 with more Bruce Renner.